Yes. Yeah, so if, if you say uh, China doesn't exist, right? Okay. Because you haven't been there, right? They don't mean in China. Okay, but you know it's there, right? Sure, okay. How do you know the Earth is a ball in outer space if you've never been there? Because people go outside. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, so water lays level and flat when it's contained. You think this this is flat? Huh? Water is level and flat. The water? Water. Okay. Yeah. So how you know? Yeah. Because it's measurable. We can see it. How you can see it? In your cup. When you fill this up with water, is it not flat on top? Okay. So why can't the lakes or the ocean also be flat? get down from the earth and after that check it out. Well, <laughs> I mean, I think that you should... But, but why, why why, the people need to, to lie us? You know? If somebody see, it's not matter if the earth is ball or not. It's not matter. It's not change your life, right? It does. It did, it's, totally. I don't really care if it's ball or not. But you will it's care when you find out. And if I go out and I see it's uh, flat, it's not matter to me. And people, what does I don't think, I don't think that people... Lie to you about. You don't think lie? Yep, about that, it's not matter. But People what does matter? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a yes. serious question? What matters to you? What matters to you? My life. No, no, no. What matters to you? My life. Your life. Yes. Not my life? So, so if you. I, if, no, no, no. Hold on. If you knew information, okay, and I didn't know it, but is there any point in your life that you would feel compelled to want to tell me about no, it? No, right now okay. you know a lot of information that I don't know. Sure. I know a lot of information that you don't know. Mm -hmm. So I live my life. And you live your life. Yeah. So, I, 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 very, I go in this website, maybe we can speak. That's it's very right. good. I don't have a lot of time. No worries. Uh, thank thank you for your time. Working. Thanks for hey, listening. Hey, one last thing. Yeah. Think about this. I just came on a flight from Washington, D.C. That's what they tell you that the plane is doing, is going over a curve, right? right? So that would mean that the plane has to dip the nose about 2,777 feet every five minutes based on a 500 mile per hour average speed. So ask any pilot if they, if they dip the nose down to go over a curvature. Because otherwise if they're going straight level, a straight line over a ball, they would be increasing in altitude. You're, you're heading towards outer space, what they tell you. Just something to think about. I don't, I don't want to press you too much so on this, I, I, but I, I, I that's not can, what, what's can happening. Go do a round and all the world. Well, if because lit, the North okay. Pole would be in the center, and you can circumnavigate, make a circle. Like You can walk around the mall get back to the same point. Right? Right. Because if all the compasses point north, and the north is in the center of the Earth, then we will constantly correct north. So you make a circle around a flat plane. So you walk around the block, get yes, back to where okay, you're starting. I check that. I check. Hey, you have a good day now. Hey, what were you saying? This is Alex, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was just telling him about the planes don't dip their nose. I showed him this picture I took on the screen um, during my flight. This is what they're telling you is happening in the CGI Earth is going over a curve. Yeah. It would be about a drop of like 740 miles from Washington DC to Oh really? So um, Dallas. So I like the animation. Yeah, yeah. I was just explaining to them like this is what you have to believe that the the pilot is has to dip the nose. But asking the pilot they don't dip the nose. Yeah. And it's an animation. Let's just get Yeah. It. <laughs>